everyone it's monique renewed welcome back for another video so today we have a shopping vlog and a haul connected all in one it's kind of a long video so go ahead and grab your snacks your dinner your lunch your breakfast whatever your cup of coffee and come shop with me so right now we're in bras and they have this illustrated faith bible mat once again for $1.99 i had already picked that up from last week and some washi tape eight to a pack for $2.99 by creative devotion i did end up picking that up so be sure to stick around to the end to watch all the goodies that i did pick up from ross marshall's and michael's here are some illustrated faith stamps i think these came out last year and i remember somebody said they were like 12 dollars originally some creative devotion stickers these are some blank ones that you could probably use watercolor paint on. Those are super cute. 48 for $1.99. Some watercolor paints. Ross has a nice selection of watercolor paints. I did see these last time. I did not pick it up. Um, here's another alternative 36 to a pack. They were cheaper. They were like $3.99, but I did not pick those up because I wanted a good quality one. So I thought the ones that I have in my hands would probably be better. Ross has a nice selection of art stuff and stationery. Here is the Happy Notes Illustrated Faith. No, that's not Illustrated Faith. What is that? Me and My Big Ideas notebook. It's like a scripture notebook and it's super cute. I should have picked all of them off the shelf, but I did it. I already got one. And yeah, this is a really cute journal. It has like bullet notes, bullet pages, and it was only $3.99. This is a watercolor painting pack with the tubes. And you can see me putting that in my cart because I'm like, yes. This is a pack of paint brushes, 50 piece. It even comes with those scraping tools you see at the end that you can use. Um, they also sell it at Dollar Tree separately. Some jumbo paper clips that we did see last time. This creative devotion bookmarks. I thought these were really cute. It says life is for no life is found in you. It came three for I believe it was a dollar ninety nine. Your grace is sufficient. He must become greater. You know that scripture. He must be. He must. In, no, I must decrease so he can increase. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's how that looks. And feel free to pause at any point of the video. I see I am kind of going a little fast. So if you want to see something, go ahead and pause. And there goes that watercolor paint set for $4.99. And it also includes the paint brushes. Some metallic markers by James Burke for $3.99. They had this nice, I think it was a scrapbook type of album i'm not too sure this was something i could imagine they probably sell at michael's and it's called storyline and it's by the same person that makes those planner kits i thought that was super cute if you're into like scrapbooking and stuff and here goes the smaller version of that watercolor paint set i was mentioning for $3.99 that's the bigger size and that's the smaller one do a little comparison there here's another paintbrush set nice t dark teal color for $5.99 and it shows you this is a mermaid set I thought that was so nice with the colors the purple and the green for $3.99 Ross is like the perfect place for like affordable stationaries and art supplies here's a index card set with a ring for $1.99 it's rainbows by James Burke you got to do some studies here they have these canvases I've never seen this before in my life where it's already pre-drawn and you just have to fill it in with the colors I thought those were super cute they have these big tubs of acrylic paint maybe if you're an art instructor if you do paint nights and stuff that would be a good idea this poor art drop cloth i will show you what that's used for in a minute if you ever heard of drop paint that's what that's used for i guess to pick up any messes some blank canvases 6.99 for a 10 pack that wasn't bad 
these double headed marker sets 18 piece for $6.99. They have this children's sticker set with animals and stuff. I thought those were nice if your child likes to use stickers. And there goes that planner set by that same lady I was talking about with the scrapbook. You can see her picture right there too. Those are super cute little flowers and stuff. It comes with a planner, stickers, and stuff like that. Basically your whole kit. And there goes another pack of that paint set buy and gore for $6.99 so that's like a medium size and here's another notebook by happy notes this was just a plain notebook and here's another one so those were just those were just like plain regular notebooks they didn't have like the scripture writing like the other one did both for $3.99 and another one this is so me but like I said, it's just plain, so I didn't pick that up. And this journal, I thought this was pretty cute. It has like a cloth on the side and scriptures on the bottom. This chic planner, you know, if you're not into like too many designs, this is pretty cute. It has gold stickers, you know, if this is your look, a ruler, pockets for your extra notes. And this planner was nice and chic. It's not too bulky. You know, you can list out your day and stuff and it comes with calendars. So this is super cute. It has your holidays and a clear cover. They had these different types of sketchbooks or artist pads, one for oil, one for pastels. They had tracing paper. I did not know the value of this. I could have used this with my clear cuts that I have, but I didn't pick it up, unfortunately. <laughs> and these markers, these markers look super expensive. Um, I've seen this before or something that's similar to this on um, other people's YouTube channel. I don't know what it's worth actually, but it's 10, I'm sorry, $9.99 at Ross. And then these mixed media gel sticks, I did end up picking these up for $9.99. And they're similar to gelatos. This key ring, um, if you've seen this like on TikTok and stuff, where you use this to touch items or to open doors. This huge, I've never seen a set so huge of acrylic paints from Ross. 40 pack for $19.99. That is a good deal, actually. More of those huge tubs of acrylic paints. They had blue, yellow, and red for only $4.99. Fine tip markers, 100 pieces. Twenty piece acrylic set if you don't want to buy that big old set for $9.99. I don't know if this is watercolor or acrylic or oil or what, but that was a paint set. It came with the um, the palette and the brushes and everything for how much is that? More of those canvases. This is insects. If you're into insects <laughs> Chinese brush technique kit they also had a lettering kit last time I went there this watercolor paint set I've never seen this one before it's 36 to a pack for only $7.99 it comes with a bunch of different colors and of course you can mix them to get a variety of colors as well cards if you make your own cards they sell these sets are pretty cute or if you do scrapbooking you could use it for that and there goes that marker set again more cards in the back I wouldn't mind making my own cards instead of buying them from the store I believe they add more of like a personal touch 
a pencil kit, you know, if you want to practice drawing or sketching. And this is the pour paint I was talking about. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I would advise you to look this up either like on pictures and stuff to see what people are doing. But that was $12.99. It comes with all those paints, gloves. It comes with all the supplies that you need. I've never done this personally, but um, I thought that was pretty neat that they would sell this set. And some um, markers for $4.99. This was a, I don't know what this was, like a writing collection? A note collection? Feel free to pause so you can read the description, but I thought that was pretty cute. Packaging at least, I'm not sure what it was. This mixed media set, it comes with watercolor pencils for $5.99. It looks like paint, brushes. Okay, so I was curious to see what this organizer was. Um, of course, it says 2019, but it's not dated on the inside, so you can use it at any time that you'd like. I was trying to open that, but I was struggling, so I just left it alone. It looks like a little pocket. Some sticky notes, some more notepads, and it's like a weekly planner, and it's not dated, so you can cover that 2019 up if you want. And it just comes with a bunch of those and you could plan out your week. And yeah, that was super cute. I did not see a price on that, however. Some gel highlighters by Creative Devotion for $1.99. I'm going to do a close-up. I have gel highlighters from this company. Um, it came with like at least like five, maybe. And they still had those crayons, those gel crayons by Creative Devotion. You can actually use those as watercolors as well. I should probably demonstrate on my channel how to use those. They have fabric paint for $4.99. The Day Spring numbers with the stickers. These are scripture cards by Creative Devotion for $2.99. I guess you just stick them in your Bible like it's has um right there right at scripture on it gel pins for $4.99 and next up is Marshall's this is their artistic planner section which is not much compared to Ross they had these fitness stickers for $6.99 or fitness theme uh, of course they had other stuff in there and here's just a flip through of that which isn't bad and then they had this other sticker book which I found was really cute for $6.99 as well and here's the flip through and they had those as you can see when I'm sitting in on top of like these um, notepads of grocery list and to do list and stuff like that. I thought that was cute, but I didn't really go into much detail. They had this King Art color pencil set 12 to a pack that was on clearance for $3. lunchbox notes if you're that special mom that likes to leave notes in your kids lunches and stuff they have this super chic neutral planner i can see that being used you know if you don't want like all that girly stuff maybe if you're a male and stuff and those are the notepads i was talking about like with to-do lists and stuff and that was it for marshall's oh except for this one cute box that i wanted to show you guys so i'm gonna go around the corner isn't this box so cute it's like a storage box where you can keep like journals or supplies in i thought that was super nice of course i didn't get it now we're at michael's and i just wanted to show you guys the sticker section they had some stuff on clearance so i was just overviewing that um they didn't really have much nothing that i really picked up in this aisle anyways and this five piece washi tape for only like a dollar what was it dollar 97 i thought that wasn't too bad but they didn't really have much in this section so i'm just overviewing how this looks like they have some die cut stickers i don't know i feel like it's like so overwhelming <laughs> it's like i don't even know where to look at it's like so much some clearance label stickers letter stickers number stickers every sticker that you need in life and don't need of course and here's the clearance section um they had this cute what are they called illustrated no i keep getting them confused oh my gosh meet 
the happy girl planner or the happy planner stickers And that was a washi tape set. It comes with a bag to put them in or a pouch. And here I'm just showing you all the stickers that they had on clearance that I did not see last time I was here. It's a unicorn planner set. Monique Renewed welcome back for another video so today is a haul video from Michaels Dollar Tree and Ross and I think this is gonna be like my last one because I think I have pretty much everything I would need for to start my Bible journaling journey so I'm pretty excited so yeah let's get started as you can see earlier from the vlog today I previewed um, when I was in a store I'm gonna show you what I got so the first place is Michaels and I did end up ordering this roller cart that you see here. I had mentioned it in a previous vlog how um, I saw it but I didn't get it but I thought it would be useful to have all my supplies in one area that I that is portable so I thought it was a good idea and it was on sale for $29.99 the regular price is $69.99. Next up, if you remember, if you watched my previous vlog, I had mentioned that they had these um, sticker kits at Michael's for clearance. I had brought the Faith ones, and I mentioned there was another one that I did not show that was just a regular one. Well, here it is. So it's a 530 piece, 535 piece for three, I believe it was 347. Um, you get a bookmark that is shaped like a diamond, three paper clips, a sticky notepad, some stickers and some washi tape so I thought that was a pretty good deal and they had these in the little clearance section I had picked up Three. The first one is by the Happy Girl Planner, also known as Me and My Big Ideas. And these are journaling stickers. They want clearance for a dollar and nine cents, originally ten dollars and nineteen cents. So that is a pretty good bargain for 24 pieces. And on the back, it does show you how to use these inside your planner, inside the um, Me and My Big. I, is it called me and my big or inside your happy girl planners so it gives you examples on how to use these and I do actually have this planner which I've gotten I think last year from Ross so Ross does sell these planners if you want to take a look there before you pay full price for it next is this 150 piece sticky note set these are pretty cute and they are a dollar 47 originally 419 And these one also $1.47, 125 piece. This one was 150 piece. So that was it from Michaels. Next up is Ross. And as I like to say, I think I hit the jackpot today as well. So they had this at Ross. Me and my big idea planner. Like I said, they do sell these. So and I have never seen these particular ones before. They had all types of notebooks as you as you saw in my vlog earlier. Not just planners, like different types of notebooks. So if you open it, oh that is so pretty. I'm gonna give you a preview of this. It has, it's like a, I don't know, what would you call this? This is the soap method of um, when you do your Bible study. It's like a Bible journaling notebook specifically for when you read the Bible and I thought that was too cute and I never seen this before and they sell it at Ross and they have some sections for sermon notes and study notes and a daily prayer tracker blessings this week things that you're grateful for yeah I thought this was super cute and then they also have bullet note pages 3.99 and 
it's something I never knew that if you never known to, if you get these type of planners, do not throw these rings away. You can actually reuse these rings and make you another planner, like a customizable planner with the inserts. I did not know that and I was surely going to throw my rings away from my old planner had I not known that has somebody not said that and if you don't know this brand is pretty expensive so to find these at Ross next up is this watercolor set yes I caved and I bought it because I said I'm probably not gonna find something like this and this looks like a good quality it's called Angor and it's made in Germany um it was $9.99 and that's more than I would like to pay for some watercolors but I thought this might be really good quality so I'll see about that and they had different sizes as you can see earlier um, they had a small one medium sized one and this is the largest one and I just decided to get the largest one and this is this is a 38 pack mixed media gel sticks these remind me of gelatos and I'm pretty sure that's what they're like and they come 24 to a piece for $9.99 and I, I really debated on this. I'm like, do I need this? But I feel like this would be something I would regret not getting if I didn't get it. Um, especially since they look like gelatos. So I said, okay, just might as well go ahead and get it. And plus, I've never seen this at Roth before. So most likely you will never see it again. And they had a few illustrated faith items today. So the first one are these stamps. Yes, I found stamps at Ross. Um, Illustrated Faith Stamps, 10 piece. This one says dream big, he gives me wings, and it looks like airplane, paper airplanes and stars. Be brave, no, be ever so brave and reach for the stars, love this life. This one, his love is amazing, you are God's treasure, speaking to my heart. Be happy, um, looks like a little looks like a drawing of a girl some flowers and hearts and a bird and this last one um sing for joy um this looks like where you can um customize like dates or sermons or specific notes that you want to make um pastor it says pastor preach be patient hope love faith believe some arrows and music notes and these were only $1.99 at Ross. Next is this. I thought this was the, the ink for the stamps. <laughs> but then when I looked closer, it was Watercolors by Illustrated Faith. Um, it was $3.99. I thought, why not? I think I've seen this before um, on people's channels. So I thought maybe I can go ahead and give this a try. And I will demonstrate how that looked. So for the stamps, I'll end up probably using like acrylic paint or or some other medium instead of using actual stamp ink because I don't have any stamp ink and I don't feel like buying any to be honest. So I'm just going to use some acrylic paint. And they had these creative devotion faith stickers for $1.99 and I was really searching for some maybe stickers at Ross. I have bought some before for only $5. And those are expensive. They're like $20 at Michael's, but I did not see any, unfortunately. But I think I'm all stickered out at this point between Dollar Tree and Ross and Michael's anyway. So it's cool. But they do sell the Mambi stickers at Ross sometimes, rarely. So these are how these stickers look like the by Creative Devotion. They're 40 eight piece and they have scriptures on them and this one is blank it looks like you would color this in yourself and then i got a four pack canvas set these are just blank canvases for 6.99 for when i want to do some artwork on a canvas i can just go ahead and paint them myself here and they had this creative devotion brand washi tape for 2.99 um this is how that looks 
so it comes eight to a pack for three dollars and last item i got from ross which is really random is this i see this on tiktok all the time by people um i think they say they buy it from amazon but it's at ross too and they had a bigger one which i showed earlier but they also had the smaller one by the register so i ended up getting the smaller one and you can hook this on your key and this is so you won't be touching anything like i don't like touching the keypad so i'm gonna be using this for now on you can use it to open doors, to carry your groceries, to push buttons, and the things that they come up with during a pandemic. So last but not least is the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to say what I think is best for last because I could not believe it when I saw it. So I got these stencils and you can apply, you can use this with paint using a brush or a sponge. And it shows you in the back examples on how to use these and i got this cursive looking one and this lowercase one with some other characters butterflies these with quotes and words on it and stuff um these are actually self-adhesive stencils so i'm assuming they stick but they didn't have these in the regular stencils so i would just use them and then probably restick them back on here i'm not too sure how that's gonna work since it's a sticker oh they have instructions okay yeah so like it says you're supposed to peel it off um peel it on whatever surface and then store it back on the sheet so you're supposed to keep this sheet and then put the stencil back on there and last time i did not get these die cut stickers but this time i did because i thought they were too cute um they have flowers and birds and they kind of like have like a 3d effect they kind of pop out a little bit and then here's this one these are really cute and they had these rub on transfers you could put it says you can put it on gift boxes scrapbooking paper furniture they even have it on some um wood so you're supposed to clean the surface cut out the design place it on the on whatever it is that you want to place it on rub it several times and remove the transparent sheet and it will be right on there so i thought that was cute and then these planner stickers 300 to a pack and they have oh they have some rainbows some a sun some plant arrows you know appointments birthdays stuff like that i thought that was too okay i keep saying that that was too cute they have some cute ribbons um you can use ribbons on your paper clips to make um like customizable paper clips this is like part of like a unicorn type of collection that they had that was really cute i got this blue glitter one and this pink one with the silver stripe in the middle and this is what i mean by um you can use them to customize paper clips i just tied them on the end of the paper clip and then i put it in my and i put it on my bible like that and it sticks out like that i've seen some people where they have like a whole bunch of stuff going on over here um i'm a little bit more simple i'll just keep it simple like this so yeah oh look, while i'm here let me show you guys what i have done so far in my bible so this is the um everyday life bible by Jer joyce meyer and this came with like several blank pages so i was like oh let me make some borders around here so i thought that was cute these are blank but i'm gonna find something to do with it and then i put a picture of me and my family when we went to bahamas and we pet a dolphin that was pretty cool and yeah that's how that other page looks like so i'm going to find something to do with those blank pages but i thought i'd share with you guys to give you a little idea and you can also use ribbons as a border as well if you want if you don't want to use washi tape you can use that these multi-purpose clips i thought these were cute these were by the register um you can use these as like maybe chip clips or you can use it to hold anything really if you want to hold a book of stickers together or some sheets together these are cute for that and this is six pack for a dollar um this mini caddy just to hold like um my Art supplies and stuff in here hot glue stick i never seen the jumbo pack of hot glue stick but they do sell them at the dollar tree apparently they're five for a dollar and they're really long and thick so if you have one of those big glue guns this would be perfect for that some sticky flag note strips um this comes with 400 for a dollar and it comes with several colors that are pretty nice 
and yeah you can use these you know in your books and your bibles if you want to highlight something important and i did end up picking up the uh customizable planner that i was talking about last time in my vlog and they had a nice design that i want with these flowers and like i was mentioning they have these rings that you can pull out like the ones from inside the um illustrative faith i mean they don't have the hearts like this one does but it's only a dollar and i didn't even realize it also comes with sheets in here non-dated month personal info page and you can always cover up the 2020 um that's no big deal so this is actually a pretty good bargain for a dollar you can you can pretty much customize it yourself with any type of inserts that are this size so this is a pretty good deal I picked up one of these glass jars for when I do want to do some watercolor painting I could put the water in here and so yeah I could just dip my brush and self-explanatory right I don't need to go into detail <laughs> and then I also got this storage box cardboard boxes this is a gift box so I found it I think somebody just dropped it randomly in the sticker section and I saw it and I thought that would be cute to store some stuff in here so I picked that up okay so this is I saved the best for last so remember how I was saying earlier I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have any Mamby uh, stickers books at Ross because that's what I was kind of searching for but I was at Dollar Tree. I went around the corner and towards the front where they have like some of this kitty's supply section. It's not in the sticker section. It's towards the front by the register. Look what they had. They had these planner books. For 323 pieces for a dollar. And these are cute. These are, these kind of emulate the, not the illustrate. These kind of look like me and my big ideas planner stickers obviously not exactly and not as much but they they're kind of similar and I will do a side-by-side -side comparison obviously the Dollar Tree is not going to give you like a thousand stickers for a dollar but for 323 pieces and these stickers are stinking cute like look at these I saw this and I was like what get out of here so Ross not having the me and my big idea stickers this kind of made up for it because I was like this it's too cute and it's only a dollar so I ended up picking up two of these and they did have other styles besides these two but they were really childish and this was the only one that looked like adult ish stickers adult did that even go together <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.